Hello everybody, welcome to another quick video. Now, a lot of the time when I come out to do a video, I've got a rough idea of what I'm going to be talking about and how I'm going to do it. Today, not a clue. This is all off the bat. We literally just come out last night to a nice little spot in between Buxton and Matlock. So we spent the night out in the Peak District, which is absolutely beautiful at the moment. Bit of sunlight, but a cracking storm yesterday afternoon. So everywhere's quite damp and very green looking. So quite pretty, but we'll take you with us for a bit of a wander and see what we can find. There may be some macro, maybe some landscape. We don't know. We'll have a look when we're on the way. So come and have a wander. So in my usual fashion, we've come out, the sun's glaring, really harsh light, high winds, so it might not be a lot of macro going on, but we'll see what happens with it. But the views are absolutely fantastic. Just have a look at this. So at the minute, we're actually on the High Peak Trail. Um, and if you look out from where we are, there's some stunning views all the way around, near the trail itself. And it might get a little bit bright, but over towards the east. Absolutely beautiful views. So I'm not really spotting much on the composition front at the moment, but we'll keep wandering, keep looking, and hopefully something might pop out. So the views out are absolutely fantastic, but it's that sort of thing where you can get a really nice view, but it doesn't mean you've actually got a nice composition from it. Now sometimes you can get away with it if you've got some foreground interest, and you can sort of almost build a composition based on where you're standing. Um, the line that we're actually taking now, or the track that we're taking, is part of the old railway line from the high peak. Uh, it always the sort of thing that when you get an old railway line like this, you do tend to get a lot of straight sections. Now, what we're actually walking along now is a very, very raised section, almost like a viaduct but without the arches, but there is a section down there for a farm access. Uh, so on the way back, I'm gonna try and get a shot of that as well. I think if the sun actually plays nicely, that might actually work quite well. Uh, but out over the, uh, the fields, um, if we can get some shadow from the clouds that are starting to come across, I think it'll work quite nicely. Uh, but there's a few bits and bobs around that might work as an interest, uh, but it might be that sort of thing, because I've got the 12 to 100 on the OM1 at the minute. Bang a tight crop in, so get a nice sort of tight framing on it, and see if we can actually make something out of the, uh, the surrounding area. But yeah, well, a bit more of a wonder. We're heading sort of towards a section called Minion Low at the moment, uh, which might or might not give us some interest in there, but obviously it's windy, very bright, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, so obviously with how windy it is today, it's gonna be very difficult to get many sort of regular sort of close-up shots. Um, I'm hoping there'll be a little bit more as we sort of come around the track, looking back down towards the uh, the main sort of wall section that we've come across. A um, bit of a curve in, in the path, so hopefully that'll, that'll actually work for a bit of a shot. Nothing fantastic, but yeah, it might work. Um, the wind is getting a lot stronger, because obviously we're quite high up now. Um, but it's one of those things where it might, if we sort of ramp the shutter speed up a bit, work to actually give a bit of a uh, bit of an interesting sort of shot across. Uh, so we've got a few trees here. Yeah, it might actually work as a bit of a composition from it. Uh, but uh, looking out over the way, i have just pointing out over that way, um, some lovely clouds are on the horizon, uh, which might actually try and do almost a bit of negative space, but use the clouds a bit further up. Um, I think so the fields are actually quite nice. Cause we've had that sort of real sort of blast of rain last night. I mean, it was very heavy. And I think the contrast from the green to the blue will actually work quite nice. It's got that sort of, if you have that age, that sort of Windows XP look to it. Uh, so yeah, rattle off a couple of shots for that. Um, go try it on high res mode as well. Um, should work fine. Um, hopefully you'll, well, I'll say you'll be able to see the difference. You won't be able to see the difference on the YouTube, but it'll make it easier for me to actually post-process it. Uh, one of the things I may do, because I've actually switched softwares, because uh, I do run Linux rather than sort of Windows or Mac, I've switched software to a piece of software called Art, uh, which is a byproduct of the old software they used to use, Raw Therapy. And it's a lot more 
controlled and a lot, there's a lot more, more features in there. So if you'd be interested in sort of seeing how I sort of do the process using that, do drop us a comment down below and I'll see if I can get something rattled up for you. So part way along the trail and we discovered this, which looked like an old, possibly steam crane, but some kind of crane by the look of it. Um, obviously very, very weathered, but it makes an ideal subject. Now I'm thinking for this, I'm going to take a shot, won't be anything fantastic, but convert it to black and white, get a lot of mood in it and see what that comes up with. I think that'll work. But I'm also going to try and get some close-ups of the cogs and gears and that to get a bit of interest. So I'll pop a couple up now for you. So completely unexpected, but quite a nice little find. Um, it's that sort of thing where you can sort of just find little bits and bobs as you're wandering around. And essentially, something like that is full of compositions. You can just pick out little rivet heads, cogs, little bits with sort of water in the bottom of the uh, the main sort of wheel on it, stuff like that. Just do random shots. It's amazing what you can come up with. Like I say, always keep in mind, you can always edit it to black and white afterwards. So you can actually play with it, alter the colorations. Generally, just be creative with it. It's really quite nice. Uh, but yeah, I keep on wondering now. Um, the sun's really harsh again, but wind's high, and hopefully we'll find some more interest as we wander along. So let's carry on. So hopefully you can hear me okay over the wind noise. But we've made it to the top of the Mini Low Hill, um, basically the start of a uh, five and a half thousand year old Neolithic burial ground, sort of tombs and barrows up here. Um, not really a lot photographic, but some of the trees are quite nice. I might say I can sort of pick a couple out, see what I can do with it. Uh, but yeah, it's a lovely area. Some of the views from at the top, got a few shots coming up, but I couldn't really do much with the camera uh, as far as talking to you, because the wind is ridiculous on the hillside. Uh, so I've got a couple of shots out, really nice views over. Um, but I'll try and get a couple of shots off around here, see what I can find on it. Uh, then I'm going to start the, uh, the walk back down, but yeah, it's a nice place. And it's nice that it's actually kept accessible um, and amazingly it's not full of rubbish either which you do tend to find a lot of places like this they just get stuff dumped everywhere but uh, no this one seems quite nice but it's a lovely sort of ringed off area and like I say you can actually make out the barrows quite well just point you at that now so you've got the trees around there which obviously have grown up on there and these I believe are cappings for the tombs so you can make out the shapes of the barrows so inside there is all the old Neolithic tube tombs like I say, five and a half thousand years old, so stacks of history around here. Uh, but it's lovely to see, and we've started to get a little bit of colour coming into the trees as well, I've noticed while we're up here, uh, which is quite nice. A couple of bits of fungi around, nothing too major, but yeah, it's a good walk up. So the other thing about having sort of the autumn start set in now, we're starting to get a bit of leaf fall. So it's great actually looking down, and you can find some nice little patterns, just where they're full, you don't need to lay anything out. Just have a look down, you can get some nice little patterns. Obviously we had quite a bit of rain yesterday, so we're having some nice little bits with the water droplets on and stuff like that. So I've rattled off a couple of shots, and uh, I'll pop one up now for you. But yeah, always worth actually looking down and seeing what's around when you're getting a little bit of leaf fall. It's not like you're getting leaves that are overloaded, so you've just got layers of it. You've just got little bits that are dotted around. You can get some nice little interesting shapes, so yeah, well worth looking down for it. Didn't mention it was a bit breezy. Um, 
This is why I couldn't really talk to you on the way up the hill. It's ridiculous. Must lean into it and everything. Yeah, it's um, got a bit blowy, but the light coming across the hills is absolutely glorious. I'll just swing you around now so you can see. Right, back to the van. Let's get out of this wind. So there we go, completely random walk to a hillside and back again with a couple of shots in between. Like I said, it's amazing what you can find when you just wander out. You've got no plan, you just pick up the camera, go out, have a look around. I mean, the light that's coming across the fields now is absolutely glorious, but there's not really a lot of compositions in it. Uh, but I'm trying a few bits and try and pick out some uh, some interest and uh, like I'll puff you up at the end of the video like I normally do. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this little wander with us, please do hit that thumbs up button, really helps the channel out. And if you're not subscribed, please do hit subscribe really helps me out no end uh, but if you can do that be absolutely magic be brilliant I'm trying to get to a thousand subs at the minute um see if we can sort of reach that sort of magic target it's just a bit of a sort of target that i've set myself um but it'd be really handy if you could do that like i say if there's any information that you want about obviously the kit that i use or anything like that drop a comment down below love to hear from you and i'll get back to you as soon as i can but for now we're going to head back to the van now come and grab some lunch like so i just took this opportunity to have a bit of a word with you while there the heavens haven't opened and it's not blowing a gale, so ideal timing. But yeah, we'll see you again soon, so take care.